What about the RNA world speculation? Here's a few of my thoughts on it. The notion of abiogenesis, that's life from non-life, is assumed by evolutionists to have happened but once because they understand how overwhelmingly improbable such an event would be. But the same hostile to life conditions or realities that make abiogenesis so improbable also make the survival of that first step even less probable. For example, RNA is generally thought to be the necessary starting point but RNA, even in short sequences, is very difficult to build in the laboratory with many different chemical steps. And RNA does not form naturally, abiotically, that's without biology, that we could ever imagine. But if it ever did, we've got a molecule that is incredibly delicate and unstable and breaks apart in days, if not hours. Laboratories can only make it in a sea of toxins, so the, we have to say, far-fetched luck would go nowhere, even if it did happen. But for the moment, let's say I'm wrong and that the newly formed fragile RNA molecule is somehow destined to then just cascade through thousands of requisite steps to finally arrange other molecules to form the first living cell. Then why wouldn't it have happened lots of other times in four and a half billion years of Earth history? Why only once? Why the one common ancestor? See, evolutionists want us to believe that abiogenesis is at once both inevitable yet incredibly difficult. So which is it? Just saying.